Two women, old, broken, only faces on the street. Early hours, I read lips of their words from vestments where I hide, hidden, disguised, like listening, like disguised. Oh, cold. You're always cold. Well, Paris is cold. Well, it's winter. Paris is always cold in the winter. Paris is cold because Paris mourns. He was just a soldier. He was a fine-looking man. Killed by a Polak. She was not a Polak. Well, an Oriental. You, woman, are in need of your powder. She was a Romany, a gypsy. And today she will be tried. Killing one of our own. A fine-looking man. I think you're not in need of powder, but you've taken too much. <laughs> See how you froth at the mouth at me and mention of a man. Then I climb. Climb. Morning bells are favourite now. Before Paris awake, shadows make business. Mist. Fog. It's best now. Disguise. Paris. Disguise. Serpent. Disguise. Then I ring. Ring. Begin ring. Start with my ring. There is nothing good about a day when one is roused early and prevented from one's rest and nourishment. Lordship, but I must ready you for trial. And this day will be a trial, officer. Of that there is no doubt. And then stop! Bells! Sh stop! Mind cold. I realize my reading from faces in the street. A murder trial. Murder me. I am to be stuck here all day. I know it. The murder of a captain. Captain Phoebus de Chateaubras. A pretty name. Did he die valiantly? The accused is a young gypsy girl. He did not. Shall I bring the accused in, your lordship? I said I was not to be disturbed. I, me, father. If I am contemplating silence, it makes no difference to the instruction, I must not be disturbed. Yes. Today, gypsy girl, trial. Who, oh, what? One I steal for you tried. She gave me water in stocks. I read lips. Broken women old talk of trial. Romany today. I misunderstand. No, you understood correctly. She killed an officer in the King's Guard. It is a serious crime. 
She is good. Could not kill good. And what would you like me to do about this information, Quasimodo, her intrinsic goodness? Is there someone for me to inform of this? I, I, I don't know. No, you don't, do you? Tomorrow, I bury the man she killed. I have a sermon to prepare. I'd rather you leave me be. Yes, Father. Read out the charges. <clears throat> Esmeralda, on the night of the 27th of January, you did knowingly prostitute yourself to and then murder Captain Felix. There is a fly in my courtroom. A fly in February. I've never heard such nonsense. Does she attract... Do you attract flies, mademoiselle? No. Good. Are we going to present evidence? She was found with a murder weapon and corpse, your lordship. Was she? Oh, my dear, that's damning evidence. May I speak? If you must. I loved him. Loved Phoebus. I could not hurt him. I would not hurt him. He was my flame, my... my... This girl talks prettily. He was another man. He was hiding. He came out of the closet and stabbed Phoebus. And he climbed out of the window and ran away. Pretty nonsense, but pretty all the same. She had his blood all over her. I am not guilty of this crime. I could not be. I have harmed nothing. I am not guilty. Of course not, my dear. It was the man hiding in the wardrobe with the kitchen spoon. <laughs> guilty. She is guilty. No. 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 La Esmeralda, you will be hung by the rope until dead. You are men. You are wrong. I am not a murderer. I am not. Take her to the cells. I have no time for this. You will die with my blood on your hands. What are you doing, Gwilym? <laughs> I'm holding my breath, George. Well, I can see that, but why? To see how long I can hold my breath for. How long? About a minute and ten. I'll wager you I can hold my breath longer. Wager me what? Fortnight's latrine duty. You are on. Are you set? I am. Three, two, one. <laughs> What are you two doing? <sighs> sir, hold in breath, sir. Sir, nothing, sir. I should know not to ask. The prisoner is ready to be escorted to the gallows. Sir. sir. So, does, does that make it a tie, or what? Requiem eternam dona eis domine. Et lux perpetua luceat eis. My name is Lieutenant Mikael Le Duc. I am here to tell you of a brave soldier and captain. I fought with Phoebus, sat with him. He was a great friend and a great fighter. His loss, for which we are gathered here today, is not just for his friends, his fellow soldiers, his betrothed, but it is also a loss for Paris, for France. Better take you to the gallows. <laughs> 